Authorities continue to scour remote areas of Kenosha County. A local man is offering up the help of his drone to try and make the search a little easier. CBS 58's April Devorney brings us that story from Kenosha. Every time authorities have cornered Obregon, he's managed to outrun them and disappear in a cornfield, something Adam Andrews says wouldn't be possible if a drone was involved. Faster, quieter, cheaper, and safer than manned aircraft. In this video put together by Adam Andrews, you can see how a suspect hiding in a cornfield is quite visible from the air. We can fly literally a foot above the corn stalk, so and not disrupt any of the vegetation or, or really bother anybody either. During two pursuits, suspect Andrew Obregon has lost authorities by ducking into a cornfield, which doesn't surprise Andrews. If we were to walk in this cornfield here just five or six feet, we'd almost really disappear. Andrews says a ground search in these corn stalks is more dangerous than the public realizes. An officer doesn't want to go running in there after him because he doesn't know if he has a gun. He doesn't know what he's going to do. He doesn't know which way he went. People think, you know, just sending the dogs with canines can cost thirty to fifty thousand dollars for a department, which is why he's offering up his drone. We can go back and forth. We can take photographs, video, and like, and, and, and if we don't see it, we can actually go back and and look at those videos and stills on a laptop. Quieter and cheaper than a helicopter. It's like a dollar an hour versus 1500 and on up an hour. But just as high tech, able to use thermal imaging at night. So it knows the difference between the temperature of a corn stalk and the temperature of a human. The human stands out because they're a, a brighter color. They're going to pop out like a sore thumb. Andrews is offering his service free to law enforcement because he, like the rest of his community, wants Obregon safely caught. We're able to go in and not put anybody in harm's way. Worst case scenario, somebody does something to the drone, you know, we're out a few thousand dollars. Law enforcement Enforcement has used a helicopter to search for Obregon with no luck. As for Andrews, he says he's ready to offer his services whenever authorities reach out to him. For now, reporting in Kenosha, April Devorney, CBS 58 News. And the motor. cops started chasing him. I mean, and they had their guns out. A dangerous murder suspect finally in police custody tonight, and only CBS 58 talks with the woman who watched the takedown from her home. The Kenosha County Sheriff confirms Andrew Obregon has been caught after nearly a two week chase, but not before a 59 year old woman was beaten and life flighted to the hospital. She was seriously hurt during a carjacking in Obergon's hometown of Brighton. He was then spotted on foot in Winthrop Harbor, Illinois, just over the state line, and that's where he was taken into custody. We have live team coverage. CBS 58's Marshanna Hester is looking into how Obergon got the car he drove to Illinois. We begin with CBS 58's Eric Levy, who spoke exclusively with the woman who saw today's chase. Eric. Yeah, Michelle and Bill, that silver Chevy Spark that Kenosha deputies say he stole during a carjacking, then drove it here. Well, behind me, by the cornfield behind me, is where he ditched the car before he took off running. And a woman who lives right across the street from this area watched as police here in Illinois desperately tried to take him down. He was screaming at him pretty good, and he started running, and the cops started chasing him. I mean, and they had their guns out. They weren't just stop. They were getting him. The peace and quiet of this small town called Winthrop Harbor is disrupted by this presence of police and by the unwelcome visit from Andrew Obregon. Cheryl Lafridi ran outside the second she heard the sirens. Obregon was trying to outrun their supercharged police cruisers in this economy car. The spark stopped. The police opened their doors, told the guy to get out, put your hands up. Who was ever in there? The guy got out and ran down the road and jump through the thicket into the cornfield. Running through the cornfield seems to be Obregon's M.O. At some point during the chase, the Lake County Sheriff's Office says one of the law enforcement officers shot him. But at this point, they're not willing to say who it was. Lafridi's family says they heard three gunshots. This is where the two-week search for Obregon ended, along Lewis Avenue. Obregon was taken to the hospital by ambulance, then released and sent to jail. His crime spree, which made it to the news here in Illinois. I'd heard about it from my neighbors. Finally ended in front of Cheryl Lafridi's house. I don't tend to freak out and panic too much. Um, I kind of know what's over there. So I figured he'd be running that way and not coming my way. You know, the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department told the Lake County Sheriff's Department and others in this area two weeks ago to be on the lookout for Obregon. So when they got the alert today that he may be heading over the state line and into this area, they were ready and it paid off for sure. Meantime, Obregon is having charges pending against him. And we are live tonight from Lake County, Illinois. Eric Levy, CBS 58 News. Eric, thank you. Our team